Okay, welcome back. Um, I have had a better week this week, fortunately. I've been seeing a lot of friends recently, um, and that's been helping me. My best friend says that I should talk about my breakup. Um, maybe that'll help me. Tonight I'm going to play for about like 20 minutes. 30 minutes. I got um, a comment in my last video saying to maybe reduce the video length to 20 minutes. And I appreciate that comment. I forgot your username, but <clears throat> I appreciate you for the, for the feedback. I'm a new channel, so it's nice to receive any feedback. Speaking of feedback, Oh shit, I'm gonna try. Um, <clears throat> I have been um, going through a lot of realizations lately about um, my attachment styles. Have you guys read at all about attachment styles? <clears throat> It is life-changing. Um, I've read about attachment styles before. But basically, um, there are a handful. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I keep coughing. Um, there's anxious, secure, avoidant and disorganized um that is not professional advice or information if you would like to look up more about attachment styles i would seek out a um <coughs> so, sorry i would seek out a real licensed therapist or your own research. Um, there are subcategories of anxious and <clears throat> avoidant attachment styles, I believe. Um, like anxious, preoccu preoccupied, or like fearful, avoidant. Um, I tested disorganized, which is Honestly, this is not a test that I want to pass, like, you know what I mean? If anything, I would, I would love to be secure, um, <laughs> but I'm working on it. And I hope that's, that's gonna pan out for me. I feel confident that it will. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just gonna be coughing. <laughs> this whole idea. Um, I don't know how much of my situation, my breakup that I'd like to get into for the sake of privacy of the other parties involved. <clears throat> But it's a very sad time. I, um... Ooh, there's a skeleton. I... Really, really messed up this relationship. Um, and acted entirely selfishly. Um... Some of, them, some of the realizations I've been making, one of them is, um, oh, iron. I wrote it down. This is great. I'll make a pickaxe out of this. I wrote it down in my notebook. Sometimes when I'm doing homework. <coughs> And I'm thinking about the breakup I'm um, 
having these realizations and stuff, and so I wrote them in my homework book. I'm glad, like, homework notebooks aren't something that are checked by teachers anymore. I think, at least when I was in grade school, I used to um, have to turn in my entire notebook, which is so... Um, <laughs> Pardon me. Um, dude, am I just getting sick? Fuck. Anyway, I had to turn in my notebook, my entire notebook, at my elementary school. Like, you couldn't just turn in the sheet of paper. They wanted to see your whole notebook every week. And so, like, <clears throat> imagine if you had used it as diary as well like I do I buy multiple notebooks but I end up just using one and it's all unorganized um, speaking of disorganized I have disorganized attachment style I um, yeah really messed up really bad um, and my my nonchalant, like, calm tone should not be mistaken for me being over it or fully processed it. Um, I've been told that I'm, that I always kind of look fine and I put on a very strong face. Um, I am crying <laughs> on the inside. I am, and on the outside off camera. Um, it is an extremely tough time for me. I just would like to reiterate that just because I am sitting here playing Minecraft processing it does not mean that um, I would hate for someone to take it as, as arrogant because this is a way that I'm choosing to process something while also doing something that I enjoy. And I just happen to want to let people in on that a little bit. And so this is my way of doing that. It's, for me, the equivalent of like doing yoga in the park by myself. I know I, I know people can see me and I'm doing a very meditative thing, but it's fine if people look at me while I'm healing, doing yoga slash my park. This is my yoga. Um. I forgot what I was saying. Damn it. That always fucking happens. Um, something about being disorganized, right? Damn. <laughs> it was when I, I... Okay. It was when I... Mined this iron here. Man, what was I saying? Anyway, maybe maybe I'll just start talking about something else and it'll come back to me. Oh, I need to make a pickaxe. Um, this is not yoga in the park, I'm realizing. Like, I'm not even able to fully concentrate on what I'm, what I'm processing. So let's not equate it to that. Let's just say that I'm doing this as a, as a form of release. Not necessarily yoga or meditation, because I feel like yoga requires a lot more focus than what I'm doing. Um, oh, my realization that, oh my god. So I've spent so long wanting love that when I finally had it, I realized I didn't spend enough time thinking about who I would be or the kinds of ways I would treat this love. And I think in order to know that you have to love yourself first, that is what I realized um, this week. That uh, I think I hyper fixated and maybe many of us hyperfixate on wanting 
to be loved so bad or wanting our preconceived idea of the one or like true love that we get so caught up I got so caught up in thinking of the person that was going to love me and who they would be and what they would look like and what they would do and how they would treat me but not enough about myself and how I would treat myself when triggers would um, <clears throat> unavoidably come up and how I would treat this person that I love. Oh. Um, so I do think that in order to do that, you have to love yourself first in order to care for the people around you and for this like true love of your life um, <clears throat> to feel cared for. You have to take care of yourself first, and that's that's what I'm looking at. Um, because I've made a terrible mess uh, in my life, but that's okay. That was my throat. <laughs> All we can do is um, move forward. And I lean very heavily on that mindset. I will say that I am very blessed with an amazing support system. Um, trying to be positive now, so. Yeah, people who like, won't give up on you and have have the utmost faith in you and in your abilities that can really help someone who's going from a breakup. Now, I would consider this breakup um, my fault. I don't know if my friends or family would think any differently, I'm sure. Um, you know, in the end, there's not really any one person's fault, I understand that, but I don't know. This kind of feels like it's on me. Um, so, with that being said, I feel even more lucky to have the support system that I do and to be able to lean on them and go to them for support and I know these are all like normal friend things but I really love you guys um regardless of whether I have done something wrong I am extremely lucky there are those foxes again is that really oh they're fishing oh my god they're looking for okay yeah that makes sense that's why they were there hello oh my god they see me? What? Are they looking for me? Dog. What? Are they gonna come after me? I think we should go explore a little more because I feel like you guys are getting bored of me watching. Bored of me mining all the time. But, um, oh, let me throw this ingot in there first. I lied. Sorry. Okay. Ingot. Oh, iron? Okay, they don't call it ingot anymore. Um, yeah, I have the best friends in the world. And um, I'm working on undoing the love is finite. Love is a finite resource. Belief. Um...
And just for anyone listening out there, I don't want to push any of these beliefs on to anybody. So if you completely disagree and you're like, Dantes, you're a fucking crazy, crazy guy with a lot of weird beliefs, then that is totally cool. I understand um, that my way of thinking is not the only way of thinking. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Where the hell did you even come from? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, um, if you're not polyamorous, um, or if you are polyamorous, your experiences are completely individual to each other, right? And me sharing is not me trying to persuade anyone. Not so. it's really just cool. I would I would be open to to hearing why you say in the comments. To anything you can say. To read stuff like that because, like I said, there's no right way to live life. That's a little too much. There's like three of you now. Um, yeah, who wants some? Oh my God. In normal world, it takes so long to yeah, um. Love isn't finite. Uh, there's enough to go around. What else have I been realizing lately? I don't even know what I'm looking for. I just want to make shit exciting for you guys. Oh! Oh my fuck! What? What? No. No, 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 no. That's unacceptable. Oh my god. That's unacceptable noise. Completely wrong. Did you hear that? What? There's no way that that... No. I'm staying inside forever. What? Why? I've never... I'm gonna switch this to peaceful. There's no way. I have never heard that sound in... Am I the only one? I'm freaked out. There's no way that that was real. I'm immediately dissociating. What in the world? Minecraft is supposed to be... What, like ages 12 and up? I didn't want to hear that when I was 12. That is a blood curling shriek. put that in. Yeah, in this update, we're gonna give you cardiac arrest. <laughs> um, that's probably not a very sensitive joke to make. Uh, I'm gonna spend my life here looking for iron. I don't want to go outside anymore. That's exactly why I don't go outside. But I'm gonna try. Keep trying. Oh god, it's still nighttime. Okay, um... I will keep trying, but when it's daytime. Set boundaries. Sorry, guys. Into the mines we go. Where no one is screaming. Um, yeah, other realizations. Ooh, what's this? Lapis. Other realizations I've been making are that um, I would agree that I haven't liked myself or been very kind to myself very much this year. And some ways that I've been fixing that um, are by spending more intentional time with myself and trying to enjoy that the same amount that I enjoy spending it with my friends or other people. I think for a long time I was really anxious being alone for 
you know, abandonment reasons. Um, I have a lot of anxiety surrounding abandonment. And... That has made it incredibly difficult to spend time on my own. But, um, it makes it a little scary, but, um some ways that I've been handling that are playing video games like this, playing uh, Minecraft, and spending time with my cat. Um, I'll sit at a cafe and do work instead of kind of staying cooped up at home. I feel like that's generally generally a good thing to do. I feel like separating um, work and home, making that intentional separation is, is good. Okay, fuck that sound. That came from that direction. so stressful. That wasn't a pig. Like, pigs don't do that. You can't tell me pigs make that noise. I... I knew. Um, what is it? Old MacDonald? That was not. Old MacDonald. Yeah, yeah, yo. Old McDonald's pigs did not sound like that. I've heard the song. That's not how it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, spending intentional time with myself has been really difficult, especially when I want to work out. Um, but I recently joined a softball league and that was, that was really scary. I think I've also had a really hard time um, connecting with people and going out into the world and making friends um i don't know if that was always the case maybe that's like a post-pandemic type situation i'm gonna make a boat i'm working on clearing out this um <clears throat> i'm working on clearing out the forest here, by the way, um, so I could have more land to build on. So that's what we'll be doing for this episode, for the most part. But I will try to explore a little bit because I'm curious. Um, yeah, intentional time. Ah, oh, dark oak. I don't know where to get that. But yeah, other ways um, to be intentional, no, to be um, self-care, to be self-care or to not to be, to not be, bro, am I good? Um, yeah. Other ways I've been practicing self-care. Um, trying to eat as much as I can. While I have the energy to do something like that. Because it is really hard. Some of us get really sad and then like we don't eat and that's kind of me. I have a hard time eating when I'm sad. I feel like my appetite is not very good, but, um, what are you doing? Oh. I, um, 
the way I've been handling that is honestly Uber Eats, and that's not a great <laughs> that's not a great solution. I'm still working on that. Um, but I have a really really sweet sweet friend who um, makes me dinner sometimes, and I'm really I'm really really grateful. Throw this pickaxe away. Um, no, th I wanted an, oh, God. I wanted an axe, not a... Wrong shape. But, no, the reason why that, um... Someone has to fix this. Um... It's gonna be me. The reason why that blood curling scream um, scared me so bad is because I kept I'm I'm using Spotify free right now and it kept playing this ad for horror movies. Why? First of all, why? Why do horror movies get the long it seems like they get the longest ads like i always have to skip the horror movie ads on spotify or on where is it netflix or hulu or something why would you even make that like there should be a <laughs> There should be an option to turn that off because that's terrifying. I, I'm driving, it's like noon, 1 p.m. on a sunny Tuesday afternoon. And they're like, who said that? Who said it? Don't say anything. I'm like whispering, I'm just trying to like have a good day. <laughs> Why are you trying to be scary right now? Like it's. It's terrifying. Why would you? There should be like a filter for people to turn off like horror movie ads. I'm just like running around in this forest. I'm cutting down trees. Um, even in Minecraft, I get these um, moments where I'm just pacing back and forth. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. This this vlog is everywhere. Um, yeah. But who, like, why? What kind of, like, person do you have to be to set that up? To make people listen to your horror movie adverts. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, I know no one is trying to intentionally trigger me. I think people just exist and sometimes we don't like how they do things. And it doesn't mean that they're a bad person. I, whichever communications or marketing department at Spotify makes the decision to just blast horror movie ads. Um, to the general public with, with no questions asked about how they feel about it. I know they're not trying to be mean to me, but it is. And so maybe I'll upgrade so that I don't have to listen to your ads, your scary ads. Um, no shade to Spotify. Spotify is the better music streaming platform, I will say that. It is the best. Even though you hurt me sometimes. Um, all these trees need to go. Okay, it's looking good. I genuinely think about switching this to peaceful every time I log on. 
Maybe next game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That was too much. I I'm not. I'm not cut out for that. Not even in a video game. Um. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it looks good. Pick up all this. Um, I think he's disappearing. I'll probably put maybe like a boat house here. Uh, like a boat dock in this area. Um, and this is great because I can finally see around here and I don't want to have so many enemies. Um, yeah. Just cut down this last tree. And probably sign off. It's been about 30 minutes. Um, let me know any suggestions that you guys have for the Minecraft vlogs. I would love to hear it. Um, thank you guys for watching. And have a good night. Have a good morning wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys next week.